If you agree with the supporters of this legislation, then I urge you all to contact your congressional delegation and have this done through the FDA as all medication has to go through. Thank you very much for your question. <coughs> I just have one more question. As you know, we work together on the drug monitoring program. We have a lot of discussions about a lot of different things. Retirement, guns, yes. marijuana. The list goes on and on and on. This guy's a good guy. I, I just, I have to tell you that we have got to find a way to balance law enforcement concerns and make this work. I'm not saying this is the right bill. I'm not saying I'm ready to support the bill. I'm just saying that this is the second or third hearing on this issue. I know some of the people involved in this issue. I know that there are dangers of marijuana that we're seeing as it boils over into all sorts of other drugs that are, are worse. But for some people, and we've seen them this afternoon, being able to smoke medical marijuana works. It does, and we know it. And I know you've told me that um, in many communities across the state, police chiefs are looking the other way, and I salute you for that. I don't know whether you're doing that or not, but I know some are. And, um, but I just, I don't know if this is the right bill. Apparently not from your point of view. I just, I think eventually, sooner rather than later, we've got to find a way to make this work. So that's more of a statement than a question. Well, I think. I told this, you that in private, I'm telling you that in public. And I think that the answer to that is to, you know, take these, and, I, and as you know, I'm very compassionate, and I, I, don't, I don't back down from a lot of things, but I think that taking it from Picking it from this building and putting that down into Washington is what needs to happen. And, and everybody that's testified here before needs to make that effort and, and bring this before our congressional delegation and, and have it studied down there, have it passed down there. And that alleviates all of these other concerns that we have and, and it takes it away from that. No police chief, and, and I haven't talked to anybody who wants to see people suffering and see people who are, um, are having to go around, you know, in this kind of thing. But I don't think coming to Concord and, and legislating that way or in any other state is the, is the proper way. I think it needs to be done through the normal process of medication. Well, I appreciate that, having been down there. <laughs> it's not so easy. Well, I, I, I think if we push hard enough, we can yeah, that's right. uh, you've, heard, you've heard me say it in private and in public. I, I, I continue to hope that there's a, a resolution to this that works. Whether it's nationwide or New Hampshire, I'm not ready to say 409 is the right way, but it's a lot closer than the bill a year ago. And um, I will say, I think eventually, sooner rather than later, some medical marijuana legislation is going to pass much better off to work together and make them do it the right and, way. And, and we'll try to do what we can to, uh, to do that. And the House the just this afternoon voted to decriminalize marijuana. It's yes. coming. But by one vote. I know. It's not going to happen today. <laughs> you see the point I'm making. Yes. Any other questions, Senator DeBoy? Well, one of the questions I wanted to ask you is uh, if, if we were to add to this Amendment bill that we're discussing today. 